Hey everyone, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. I wasn't really expecting to do another Fallout video, but here we are. So hey ho, let's crack on. The reason that I am back is because some kind person in the comments mentioned that you could get a companion dog. And it's a cyber dog. Supposedly, after looking it up, this is where you get him. And his name is Rex. So let's head on in and see what happens. There's... Now, as far as I know, we didn't have any beef or any problems with the Kings. So, uh-huh, should be fine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What do we have here? Oh, oh, oh. petitioner for the king? Oh, 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 oh. You hear, baby? Uh, yes, I'd like to see the king, if possible. Anything's possible, I suppose. I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? Depends on if it is actually Elvis. If it's Elvis, I'll pay you a lot. Um. We can go with a speech check and say, I'm new in town, I wanted to pay my respects. You know what? I like you. Half the people around here, they forget who runs this place. Head on through. The king's the bored-looking guy by the stage. Can't fucking miss him. Well, thank you very much. Uh -huh. Well, here we go. Away down. Is it true? Away. Is Mr. There he is! There he is! There's Rex! Oh wow, look at him! Oh, oh, before I do anything else, all I'm gonna say is, is the person that let me know about him, Roy, Some thank you very much. to kill the head of one of Mr. House's families recently. Whoever did it is either crazy or has balls the size of Freeside. As I was trying to say, Roy, thank you very much. I never knew about this unless it was for you, so thank you. Uh, right, so let's talk to, well, Elvis? Look, Rexy, someone new's come to see us. Poor boy, he hasn't been feeling well lately. I'm the king, what can I do for you? Okay, he looks a bit, he looks the 1960s king. He isn't looking like the 19... Well, early 80s king, you know, with a way down with the booty boom. So, um, well, we didn't get charged. He let us in for free. So let's go with, I was hoping you might have some work for me. Maybe so. Maybe so. You look like you might be able to handle yourself. Tell you what, you do me a favor and I'll have some more work for you when it's done. Sound good? Let's rock and roll. Uh, will he be dangerous? Uh, I like it dangerous. In that case, some of the things I need handled will be right up your alley. Oh. Uh -huh. I'll start you off with something easy. Did you notice the bodyguards for hire near the gates when you entered Freeside? Oh, yes, I did. It's good money if you can stay alive long enough. Freeside's not as safe as it used to be, so the money is well earned. Usually well-earned, that is. Recently, my man tell me that one of those bodyguards, a fellow named Oris, is making a little too much money. He's making a killing in repeat business. Once someone hires him, they never want anyone else. I want you to find out why. Specifically, I want you to hire him. Play the part of an innocent tourist and follow his lead. If nothing happens, so be it. But I'm guessing things won't go so smoothly. Call it a hunch. So, what do you say? Mm, you got a deal? Okay, then. Once you part ways, return here. I'll look forward to hearing your report. Oh, and take this to cover the hiring cost. Hey, we got 200 caps. Okay, I'll take it. We're gonna have to do... We're gonna have to do a few missions for him before we can... get old Rexy boy. As a companion. Bloody hell, look at him. I wonder if he's got anything to do with old time blues. Is it true? Is Mr. House gone? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I killed him. Yeah. 
He was in like some kind of test tube, and I I fried him in there by cleansing the tube. I heard that some of the bosses of the fiends were killed. Wouldn't be surprised if the NCR had something to do with it. Uh, that was me, actually. I kind of killed them as well. I kind of end up getting in trouble a lot and killing people. It just seems to be, to be in my it nature. Right, must be one of these. Orifice. If you need to cross Freeside, no one will keep you safer than I will. Uh. Why do I need a bodyguard to cross Freeside? Just look around. People here are as like to stab you as say hello. That is, if I weren't at your side. Oh. So it's like London in the UK right now then. Oh. So you protect me? You're like a bodyguard? Mm. Okay. How much are your services? 200 caps gets you my watchful eye for a trip to the south gate. Mm, okay, I'll hire you. Done and done. I want to mention a few things up front. In order to ensure your safety, I need you to follow my instructions to the letter. We'll be heading down the main street here the whole way down. No detours. You go off sightseeing, and I go off to find another customer. I'll keep a brisk pace, so try not to fall behind. Now let's head out. Okay, come on then, Kevin Costner. Whoa. Oh! oh. No. Fair dues. Fair dues. He is like Kevin Costner. To your left here is the old Mormon fort. You get roughed up, the followers there will patch you right up. Okay. Not that I ever. Up ahead on the next block is where the kings hang out. If don't it can be bought, it can be they found it. Mick and Ralphs. Where's he gone? Oh, there he is. Maybe we should start seeing right it. Here oh, no. Hold on. You haven't seen Freeside till you've been to the Wrangler. The Wrangler Dangler, eh? Maybe we should start singing. I wanna dance with somebody. Hey, slow down. I don't like the look of some of those men ahead. Let's take a different way around. What uh, what them for? Really? You can't handle them for. Okay, come on then. I thought someone like Kevin Costa would be able to deal with them, but no. He's got his gun out. He's got his gun out. Gotcha. Not you get ambushes, huh? Nothing to worry about. If you had hired one of those other hacks, you'd be up to your ass in low life right about now. Okay. Don't really want to be up to me ass in low life, to be honest with you, but. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, actually, that does make sense. You only fired three shots, but there was four guys. What did he do? Make one bullet whiz round, loop the loop, and come back and hit the other one? Uh, noticed that, did you? Yes. I keenly aimed one of the shots through some soft tissue of one of them to hit the man behind him. They're in, they're, in a, they're in a row. There's no one behind any... But what? Why did you run ahead like that? Call it a hunch. You do this job for long enough, and you learn to trust your instincts. You're taking the piss out of me, aren't you? You do know that you can't piss down my back and tell me it's raining and I'll believe you. What's next? He's going to kill a super mutant? Well, here we are. No worse for wear, are you? I trust that if you need to cross Freeside again, you'll know who to hire. Yeah, definitely not you. Return to Elvis and report what you've learned. Okay, let's go back to the king. I suppose Kay was right. Elvis didn't die, he just went home.
Right, let's go and tell him of the bullshittery. Ho ho ho, look at him! <laughs> what do you have for me? Uh, yeah, Orifice is definitely a fraud. He fakes the attacks on his clients and then plays the hero. Like a bell end. So that's how it happens. Uh -huh. Okay then, I'll have some guys pull him off the street when no one's looking. Uh -huh. You've shown me something, so maybe you can help me with a matter that's a little more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Uh, okay. I'll head right over there right now. Good. I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use. Okay. I left my home in Norfolk, Virginia, California on my mind. I All heard right. that some of the bosses of the fiends were killed. Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, if the I NCR know. Had to it, do it wasn't the NCR. It was me. I I killed them. They were a bunch of turds. They were killing people and shit, the fiends. Right, let's go over here. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. We've got stuff. Oh, I know what you mean. Yeah, your <clears throat> secret weapon We've got stash. Stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Yeah. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Don't talk shit, little lad, because when you go to buy some of their special items that nobody else is allowed to sell, they won't bloody sell him yet. You can see him on the wall. Are they on the lit? No, you can't buy him. He should be done for false advertising. Right, old Mormon foe, oh shit. Old Mormon foe. Right. Eddie. Come on, Eddie. Check the way. Right. Evening. Hello, Roy. What is it? Can't you see I want to be left alone with my friend here? Is it just me or is it a bit weird that the person that told me about the dog was called Roy? And now we're talking to Roy. <laughs> uh, the king has asked me to look into your attack. Oh, that's different then. How can I help? I'll do anything to get the bastards that did this. Right. Uh, what can you tell me about the attack? Well, it happened at night, around 11. We'd recently made some caps off a bit of scrap we found and wanted to invest it wisely. As we were leaving the Wrangler, we must have taken a wrong turn and ended up in the squatter side of town. From out of nowhere, these big guys show up and start barking questions at us, wanting to know if we were locals. The kid there is about as proud as a local around here gets, and started yelling back at him. Then all hell broke loose. Kid got the worst of it, sad to say. Do you remember anything about the people who attacked you? Like what they looked like or anything? They were big guys, young too. No old geezers like me. Hell, none of them looked even half my age. I was mostly face down in the dirt, begging for my life when it happened, so I only got a quick look at them. Okay, I've got to get going. I hope you find the bastards that did this. If you want, try asking my friend Wayne over there about him. He saw more than I did. Kitoki. Wayne, it's okay. The king sent him. Well, just because your name's Roy, and a kind person called Roy told me about the dog, I'm going to do you a solid and find out who did you in. Right, okay, where's Wayne? That true? Did the king really send you? He did. Uh-huh, yep, yeah, Elvis sent me. He did, and anything you could tell me about what happened might help. I don't really know what else I can add. There were a bunch of guys, better dressed than most freesiders, I guess. That help? Uh, every little bit helps, thanks. Sorry I couldn't help more, especially since you're being so nice. Hey, wait, I just remembered something. I might have heard one of the guys that attacked us call another by name. We had just about had it when one of them said, Hey, Lou, we gotta go. At least I think he said Lou. It might have been something else. 
Now that I think of it, he said Lou something, something with a T. Tenant, that's what he called him, Lou Tenant. He probably said Lieutenant. Lieutenant. Wait. Yeah. The boy means well, but he's dumb as a mutant sometimes. Hey. Who said hey? That was a female voice. So we're looking at... Hey. Hey. Are you the one that keeps on saying hey? It grows hello. about six foot in the field. Oh, you, you can say hello. Right. So... I was going to say it might be Lou Ferrigno at first, but it's not. It's Lieutenant. Oh, don't tell me it's Dan. We're looking for a guy in a wheelchair. If it can be bought, it can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Don't talk bullshit. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to I sell. I told you, do not talk bullshit. You're talking bullshit. You can't buy the, oh, look what I've got, special weapons. I'm going to shut up about it now because I'm just getting annoyed, aren't I? Right, let's go and see Elvis. Away down the doo -doo -doo -doo. Away down hey. doo -doo 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 -doo. Have you found anything out? Or were you just here to chat? No, I found something out. The local men were attacked by soldiers. One of them was identified by rank. Bunch of soldier boys, huh? Uh -huh. They usually don't come around these parts since their big base is on the other side of the strip. If they're coming over here now, it's gotta be for a reason. I didn't want to believe the rumors that they're looking to take over Vegas, but now, if something big is going down, I'm sure rumors of it will have spread. Ask around, particularly in the squatter areas where the NCR folk hang. You might also mosey on over to the Mormon fort and chat Julie Farkas up. The I... followers tend to be in the know about these things. Just don't ask her what to do about it. She'll probably ask you to hug someone or something. Oh, is she a tree hugger? <laughs> pacifist kind of like the exact opposite of what we are <laughs> right okay if it can be bought it can be found at Mick and Ralph's all I got is two words bullshit we've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell. right Mormon fort. I'm sure that's what he said. Right, where is she? Where is she? Evening. Evening. Evening, Governor. Followers, Doctor. Beatrix Russell. Looks like Beatrix Lestrange. Who's she? No, she's not. There's Roy. Oh, here, yeah, this is. I've heard a few patients mention the Securitrons are acting strangely, and no one has heard from Mr. House in a while. If House is out of the picture, maybe we'll be able to get our hands on some of his technology. It would help our scientists greatly. Mr. House is dead. I killed him. He was in like a test tube thing. I set him on fire. He's barbecued, gone. Eh. <sighs> Ah, here we go. Do you know anything about the NCR soldiers here in Freeside? Only a little. A friend of mine, Major Elizabeth Kieran, has been handing out supplies to the poor a little west of here. What about it? Elvis thinks those troops have been attacking locals. I know something's got them riled up, but I've been too busy with other matters to really look into it. If you're looking into the matter, talk to Elizabeth. She's in charge of the operations here in Freeside. Though, she won't open up to you right away. If Elizabeth holds out on you, tell her that I sent you. She should be a little more forthcoming if you mention my name. Was there anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, No, that's all it was, thank you. Bye-bye. Right, okay, so... So we've got optional talk to Major Elizabeth Kieran and mention, mention Julie's name. Whoa, that, that little rat still 
They're both going to be absolutely knackered. I mean, that little lad's probably better off just not bothering. Uh, where do we go? Is it round here? Or do we have to go through the door? Well, that doesn't look like a maid yet, unless she's got a second job. Hello. You working or you walking? Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. Oh, you working? Okay. Where the hell? Hungry? She Thirsty? There? Horny? The Atomic Wrangler has you covered. Hungry, thirsty, horny. Okie cokey. <laughs> Make a brief stop at the Atomic Wrangler. Where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly. Yeah, okay. I'm not hungry, I'm not thirsty, and I'm not horny. Where the hell are we going? Going, are we are we going in here? Hey. No. Okay. Where the hell? She should be right there. But yeah, it's all cocked up. Let's go to there. Right. Well, that's the gun runners. Don't want to go in there because you get shot. This is turning out to be a bit more difficult than I thought. Now we've got three locate. What the bloody hell's going on? that one what the hell head to one of the squatter camps in freeside and learn why the NCR oh he's waving to us hello hello who are you waving at check it out between the dumpsters there what is it? The last person stupid enough to follow me down this alley. Get this fool, boys. Oh. I've got you. Oh, I'll tell you what, actually, just let Veronica no. just watch this. Oh. Yeah, don't tell. Oh. <laughs> His head just popped off. <laughs> yeah, you don't mess about with me when she's around. <laughs> oh. So it was, it was a dead body down there. Okay. So, is it him? Hello. 
Don't think I've seen your face before. Are you a citizen of the NCR? Uh, lie. You sure am. I just recently arrived here from California. You don't look like you're from around here, so I guess I can believe that. Just head to the northwest part of town by the old train station. We start handing out supplies at six every night. There'll be some guards by the door, but just remember that the password is hope, and they'll let you by right quick. Okay. Well, we did that one, and it was him. Why you'd call yourself missionary, I do not know. Because you're just going to have to piss taken out of aren't you? Oh, look, it's Mr. Position. Right, where are we off to now? This way. Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Yes, I've told you, don't bullshit me. Right, this is the awkward one. It's saying it's back out what? Come to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. Is it down here? Oh, there's a couple of people. We might be in business. We might actually be in business. Hold up. What's the password? Uh, testicles. Go ahead. Here you go. I hope this helps. Oh, shit. Uh... Turn to the king and inform him of the NCO oh, Jesus. Welcome. There's food and water here for any citizen of the NCR. Please, have some. Uh, are you with the NCR? Yes. I'm a major in the Supply Corps, which is where this food and water comes from. Um... Why don't you save locals? That's not really a pleasant topic of conversation. Let's just say we have our reasons. Julie F uh, Farkas told me to ask. You know Julie? Yes. Not everyone in the NCR sees eye to eye with the followers, but they're okay in my book, mostly because of her. If you really want to know, we sent an envoy to the king, offering to coordinate the relief effort. And he refused? In a manner of speaking. Our envoy was brutally beaten and only barely survived. My superiors ordered the relief mission scrapped. I managed to get clearance to carry out the mission anyway, but with greatly reduced support. Now there's not enough supplies to go around, even if I wanted to serve the rest of Freeside, which I don't. That's all in the past now. I should get back to work. Say hi to Julie for me. So then a bit, she's saying. Optional, inform the king that the Did you know the She's saying that her ones, the NCR ones, were beaten up. Yet the king is saying that his ones were beaten up. So, what did they do? Have a massive scrap and they're blaming each other for beating each other up when they had a fight? Right, let's go and see the king. That NCR soldier lady told you some wild story about them sending a messenger to us to work out some deal. That's bullshit, and it's nothing to bother the king with. More like they sent someone to spy on us, and he wasn't tough enough to last in Freeside. So do everyone a favor and keep your mouth shut about it, okay? 
How the hell does he know that we just had a conversation with her? The only way is, is that you're a spy on the inside. Uh. Okay, uh, what's my silence worth to you? You're a bastard after my own heart. Here, this should do it. Uh. Yeah, we're going to go with that one. Thanks. This will keep me warm <laughs> while I tell the stories of the king. Why, you lit... You're just lucky I got something important to take care of. We'll settle this later. Okay, yeah. Like I'm going to what? Pee me pants? Is it true? Is Mr. House gone? Yeah, he's dead. You find out something about them soldier boys yet? Yes, the NCR is distributing supplies in a building down by the train station. Handing out supplies? Like food and stuff? That ain't nothing to get ruffled over. You find anything else? Yeah, they're only handing out supplies to the NCR. Uh, ah, that would explain the goons. They're here to keep people like my friends away from the food. That ain't something I support. No, sir. They said someone was sent to discuss the issue with you. Let's go with that one. Wait a minute, wait a minute. They said what? They said the man was severely beaten and barely survived. Huh, that would explain why they're all riled at us. Seems like we have a big misunderstand. What the hell? What? King, we've got problems. Lay it on me. What's going on? There's a shootout going down near the train station. It's Pacer and some strangers. Might be NCR. What is that fool doing? I need you to head out there and try to defuse the situation. Tell them I'm willing to cooperate. Right, Tio. Here we go again. Man, I thought those tin cans of Mr. House's were tough before. Have you seen the shit they Yeah, they're not Mr. House's anymore, they're mine. Where the booze is cheaper, the table's more friendly, and the women are just like the food. How'd you get women that are just like the booze? Oh, hey, oh, something's going down. Oh, shit, there's a lot of uh, dead people. You there, keep your hands where we can see them. Yes. Draw a weapon and we will fire. Yes, it's fine. I can't talk to him. I can't talk to him. Where are we going? This isn't really a good time. What did you want? Uh, the king wants to help with your relief effort. Like he helped the envoy we sent? <laughs> no thanks. That wasn't him. He didn't even know the envoy was sent. Then he should watch his back. We know for a fact that the envoy made it to their headquarters. Still, if the king's willing to deal with us, perhaps we can work something out. I'll tell my men to stand down. Back to the bloody king. Like a bloody fiddler's elbow. In and out, in and out, free side. Oh shit, there's a lot of dead kings. A lot of dead kings. Okay, let's go back and tell the king what's just happened. Hello, dog. Where's the king? Where is he? Is he through here? Follow the barky dog. Okay, not there. 
and he's not there. Someone's been playing. Put in. Go. He's not in the toilet and he's not in the toilet. Where the oh hey up. And where have you been? Are you doing the walk of shame? Hello. Is it true? Is Mr. House gone? Yes, he's the oh shit. Uh no, that's the <laughs> that's the closet. Where the bloody hell is he? Is he above us? Oh, there he is. Away down. Away down. I heard that some of the bosses of the fiends were killed. Wouldn't be surprised if the NCR had something to do with it. No, it was just me. All by me lonesome. Pacer. Hi. Oh. He's got to be up here somewhere. Oh, try up again. All right. Oh, I hear him. There he Seems is. Like they got out of oh, she was. Still a big in here. I heard all about what happened. Maybe it's time for a little more talking and a little less fighting. You've helped us plenty, so I'll tell you what. Just this once, name whatever you want, and if I can make it happen, it's done. Don't rush it though. Toss it around in your head a little. You only get one favor from the king. Ooh. Does that mean we can ask for Doggy? Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. We can ask about the building. Meh. We can ask about Freeside. Meh. But where did you get that robot dog? I got Rex here from a salvager a few years ago. He was a little dinged up when I got him, but one of the followers fixed him right up. Uh, we can say, is there something wrong with him? He doesn't seem very happy. Uh, let's ask, is there something wrong with him? He's been acting peculiar for some time now. I took him to the followers and had him checked out, and they said his brain is bad or something. Uh, can they do anything for him? No, they said they don't have the tools to help him. Hmm. Is he going to be okay? For now, but they said eventually he's going to get worse. I don't know what to do. Can I help somehow? I don't know. Maybe. If you found a way to help my poor Rex here, I'd be much obliged. Your best bet will be to talk to Julie Farkas over at the old Mormon fort north of here. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did. Okay. All right. I'll see you later. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. Right. Well, we started this it. This talk is someone going into the Lucky 38 to talk to Mr. House. Mr. House is dead. Everyone knows Mr. House doesn't talk to anyone. He's dead. Mr. House is dead. I barbecued his ass in his little pod. So if you want to do it in your language. He's a hunger, hunger, burning love. A hunger, hunger, burning love. <laughs> right, off we go to see here. About a dog with a bad brain. If it can be bought, it can be found. It. Would you around. piss off, you lying little shit? Right. Where's my Mohican lady who's a doctor? She's not there. It's starting to feel like tensions are coming to a boil. And it will be full-scale war soon. Not if I can help it. Ah, here she is. I know this is a weird question, but... Um, dog with a bad brain. Need to speak to you about it. I sincerely hope the NCR are getting supplies in place to defend against an attack. Because it looks like the Legion has plans for the dam again. 
Yeah, that's another problem. I'm here about the king's dog. The king said you could tell me more about his robotic dog. Rex? Yes, Rex. It breaks Rex. my heart every time I see him. He's such a good dog. The king brought him here for treatment then? Yes, a few months ago. We had to tell him there was nothing we could do. So you can't heal him? No. Rex's condition is way beyond anything we can handle. He requires brain surgery and some sophisticated cybernetics work, too. So there's no chance he'll ever get better? I didn't say that. While no one here has that kind of expertise, I do know of one man who might fit the bill. There's an old scientist named Dr. Henry who reportedly specializes in this sort of procedure. He'd probably be your best bet. Last I heard, he was living up in Jacobstown, far to the northwest. Thank you. You've been extremely helpful. No problem. Return to the king with the news. We can always take Those him. Those black armor devils might be new to the Mojave, but they're butchers like all the rest. Nice. Right. Let's go back to Elvis and give him the good news. If it can be bought, it can be found it. I'm Ralph. ignoring him. I'm just ignoring him. Right, go back upstairs. Let's go back upstairs to the king's boudoir. There we go. I think it's this way and into here. All right. Yeah. I'll see you later. Things have been a lot better since you helped with those soldier boys. <clears throat> Thanks again. So, what can I do for you? Right. Julie said there's a man in Jacobstown that can treat Rex. She said what? Why didn't she just say so when I was there? Actually, come to think of it, I was pretty angry when I went down there. I vaguely recall something about upending a few tables, maybe knocking out one of her doctors. Anyway, that's incredible news. Only thing is, there's too much going on around here for me to make a trip like that. And I need all of my guys just to keep things settled here. You seem to be awfully interested in my boy Rex here. And you've done some good work for me already. I'll tell you what. You promised to get Rexy here to that doctor, and I'll lend him to you. What do you say? Absolutely. I'll see if he... Uh, well, I'll make sure he gets better. I can't thank you enough. Now, there's a few things you should know about old Rex here, if yeah. you're going to be traveling together. Right. First, he hates rats. Can't stand the things. Giant rats, mole rats, doesn't matter. He oh. catches a whiff of one, and he's off like a shot after him. He's normally pretty obedient, but you might have to chase him some if he goes after one of the little varmints. Second, he doesn't like hats, or the people wearing them. Don't ask. I have no idea why. Maybe because it rhymes with rats. That should be it, though. Other than the occasional bad spot when his brain starts hurting him, that is. But I'm hoping you will see to that. I wish you both luck. Take care of my Rex now, you hear? Rex, will do. this is your new master. Protect him as you would me. Going on the Wrangler tonight. Nah, so I want to chill with my the, the person, another person who commented told me that he didn't like hats, rats, cats, anything like that. So... <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. How you feeling? Yeah. Oh, look at him. Right. Uh, take a closer look at him. <laughs> right. Examine the painting of the bull on Rex's side. The paint. Oh, examine Rex's brain. Examine Rex's mechanical parts with battered, scorched, and scarred. Stop examining Rex. Right, okay. Is he coming with us? Do we have to take him with us? <laughs> take Rex to Dr. Henry. Right, okay, so... 
I'll take it we have to get rid of her, I'm thinking. Listen, I want to thank you for helping me out. I'm sorry that things didn't go like I'd hoped, but at least I got the chance to try. At least I know for sure that there was nothing I could do. Thank you for giving me that chance. Eh, hey, don't sweat it. Right, it's time to part ways. Why does everyone always say that? Eh... Uh, we'll meet up at the Lucky 8, 38. Nice! Can I order room service? You can do whatever you want. You can even buy yourself a new dress. Right. Talk to him. Eh... Uh, Go to the lucky 38. Return to base. 38, there we go. Right. I think we should travel together. <laughs> Rex has given you the search and... Okay, he's given us a little perk. Right. Come on then, mate. That's the one. Come on, then. Word is those tough guys rangers are here. I ain't seen them myself, but how scary can they be? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Righty-o. Man, I thought those tin cans of Mr. House were tough before. Have you seen the shit they can do now? Okay, we're going down here. There's talk of someone going into the... Oh, I do that every time. Mr. House. What the hell is he doing? Okay. Is he he's just floating? He has a special ability. He's a what is he? King gang member. Mmm. It's Leviosa. Right, so, where's my little mate gone? He's down there. <laughs> I don't know how we got down there, but okay. Right, uh, world map. Jacobstown. Uh, Ranger Station Foxtrot. Well, we're liked. I just don't want him to find some. Oh shit, there's one with a hat. Oh no. Oh, I know we're alright. We're okay. Good doggy. I thought he'd attacked because she had a hat on. <laughs> I thought I thought because she had a hat on. Rex went for her, but it wasn't. It was one of them horrible bloody moth butterfly shitty things that's poison you. Yeah. Right. We're on our way. Oh shit. Right, ignore the giant, um, what were they called? Ram things? Ramaloids. What in feck's name what happened to that? Oh. Uh, good dog. Okay. Oh. Sound happy. Bloody hell. He's a hell of a dog. They're mantises, aren't they? So they aren't a rat. Maybe he thinks they're like a rat. Doggy. And yeah, he's a tough little son of a bitch, isn't he? I wonder if he was actually crew shit. Uh, they're super mutants. Are we gonna have problems? Um did he come from Big Mountain? Because that's where they experimented on dogs. 
I think he come from Big Mountain. Hey, these are friendly. You think Marcus could get us a minigun? Or missile launchers? What's a missile launcher? Welcome to Jacobstown, human. Holy crap. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the Nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Holy crap, he's, um... Uh... Let's ask for Doc Henry. This is a whole new thing. I, I didn't even know this existed. The Nightkin are the blue ones. They're the ones that, um... Oh, what was his bloody name now? No Bark was talking about. He thought they were tubercobras, invisible tubercobras, because it was them using uh, stealth boys. Anyway, we're going off topic. We're here to talk to Doc Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. Okay. Uh, we can ask him about Jacobstown. Such as? What's the history? was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. One of these days I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. Okay. So, who are you? Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with the tribal. Now I'm here. A super mutant army? Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the super mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. Didn't end well. I've heard of the Master. Wasn't the, was the Master from Fallout 1 or 2? He's the one that created Super Mutants, didn't he? So you were a mayor? Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of Super Mutants, humans and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Okay, so tell me more about the tribal. We were looking for a Gek to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Oh wow, this this, this is kind of... I'm, I'm pretty sure this is something to do with Fallout 1 or 2. But let's talk about something else. All right. Uh, let's ask what's wrong with a Nightkin. Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. Ah. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Tubercabras. Invisible tubercabras. Well, thank you. I'm going to go and see the doc. See you. Wow, he was actually quite nice for a super mutant. Is the Doc going to be a super mutant? Another human. One was enough. Oh, they're not happy. Oh no, here he is. I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh. Something's wrong with my cybernetic dog, or cyber dog. I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. I remember her living with a pack of hounds. Yes. Aside from her, I know that the Fiends and Caesar's Legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them. If you can get to them. No, I've seen the woman. 
I know the woman that you're talking about. Um. Okay, so we've got missions to do. We've got options. Uh, but let's say... I'm surprised to find another human here. I prefer the solitude. And having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Mm, no shit, Sherlock. The super mutants. But well, I mean, quiet bit is a bit debatable, but safe, as long as they like you. Yeah. You're a scientist? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. <gasps> he was with the Enclave? You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Shit! Um, I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm lost for words. That super mutant just said that the master created the super mutants, created an army, and then they blew up an oil rig with a nuke and that's when he left that's what he must be talking about so i'm taking it in fallout one i think it is i want to say it's one is when you meet the master i think oh i need to play fallout one anyway so he was with the enclave that's where he learned his trade and he knows about canine neuroscience cyber dogs and the like it's not a field I work in much anymore. Okay, let's talk about something else. If we must. Uh, what are you working on right now? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth bar use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype. But that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. Okay, why is the Stealth Boy Mark II riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer. But for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. Oh. Does the Stealth Boy use... Sorry. Does the Stealth Boy use her humans? It's possible. But I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nikon. Okay, so what... I mean, I don't mind about him helping the Night King, but why are you helping the Night King? Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Okay, fair dues. Can we help? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horners to Night Stalker attacks and would enjoy a little revenge. Okay, what makes you think that the Night Stalker mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys. They are. They are. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. They are. Because, um, no bark thinks that they're tubercobras. If we must. Right, goodbye. Yes, yes. Right, so first things first, Doggy needs help. Holy shit, that's one of them. Yeah, that's a Night Stalker. They were in the lab. B. Oh, he doesn't seem happy. Right, okay. 
So, we're going to go back to... And I can't remember the lady's name. Gibson Scrapyard. What the hell is that? No. Where is it? Um, Gibson Scrapyard. And see this lady. Old Lady Gibson. So, you're back. Yeah. Now, where did we leave off? I need a dog brain. Dr. Henry sent me. I need a new brain for my cyber dog. Dr. Henry? Now, there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. Yeah. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish, if you ask me. I but know. Ray is pretty old, and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Raise like family, and I've got other dogs to take care of. You know what? I'm not even going to barter. Is 700 caps, you're a nice old lady. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, when I said she was a nice old lady... I, th I think I may have um, jumped the gun. Um, she's just literally... Ch I think she's just literally chopped its head off and scooped its brain out. Uh, return to Jacobstown and have Rex's brain transplant for performed. Yes, I, I don't think she's given us the whole head or if she's just um, scooped it out. But... Yeah. I, I I give her seven hundred dollars. Well, seven hundred caps, and thought she was a nice old lady. Got a problem? Could use your help. Oh, okay. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. Right. How have they been harassing? I'll speak English. How have they been harassing the town? Killing our bighorners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. Oh. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. Okay. Um, are you sure these mercenaries work for the NCR? I guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Okay, what would you like me to do? You're human. Yes. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. Um... If I don't want to pay them off and they get angry and it just happens to be that they pull their guns on me, then am I allowed to, you know, maybe just kill them a little? I'll see what I could do. Thanks. Right, first things first. Before we help him, we need to go and... Oh, bloody hell. We're getting mission after mission now. I only come to save the dog. Watch out for the big snarling blue dude. Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, I have a new brain for Rex. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. This brain is from Ray, one of old Lady Gibson's dogs. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex... He'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Uh, if, it, if it means saving him, do the transplant. Have a seat. This will take a while. Rex has gained the Faithful Protector perk, which has increased his attack damage. Oh, hello. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. Jane? Uh, what do you do here? Most of the time. I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley to trade the big horner hides and meat for supplies. Mm, okay. 
Uh, you have an interesting name, Calamity Jane. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. Never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Okay. Uh, does any other super mutants come up this way? Prospectors looking for salvage, usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Oh, don't worry about them. Bye. See you in a bit. Oh, how you doing, mate? You feeling better? Oh. Oh, look at him. He's all fixed now with a new brain. <laughs> Come on, Rex. Right, well, why we're at it, why not speak to the leader of the mercenaries and try to help the super mutants? Oh, good doggy. Uh, can we talk to him? Talk. <laughs> uh, it's times like this that I wish you could talk. Ah. <laughs> okay. I didn't know. I wasn't expecting that. Are you saying I should stab the per next person I see? <laughs> Okay, are you saying I should stab the next person I see? All we've got, is there a radioactive twister coming? Did someone fall in the way? <laughs> what was that, Skippy? <laughs> Did someone fall in the well? Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's go check out that well, boy. <laughs> it's like Skippy the bush kangaroo. What the hell was that? Oh. Right. <laughs> oh, world map. Oh, it's just over here. What, what? Someday, I miss being in the mud. Right. He just happens to be waiting here. Our business is with the muties, not you. Right, okay, we've got the option of speak to 65, go away, or you'll have to deal with me, and you'll wish you were fighting super mutants instead. You listening? Or, I hear your mercenaries. Will Caps make you go away? What do you want with Jacobstown? Who are you doing this for? Let's ask him who you're doing this for. Won't name names, but some important folks in the NCR are sick of muties attacking their Brahmin herds. They want them gone from NCR territory. Maybe this group had something to do with attacking Brahmin, maybe not. Doesn't matter. We're getting paid to make them go away. Right, okay, so let's go with the speech then. So, let's just say, go away or you got to deal with me. I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. Yes. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Clever lad, clever lad. Yeah, you too. Hiding in the bush. Well, not even the bush. He's hiding the in the rocks. Our is job. better off without him. That's it. Take a long walk. Right, let's go back and speak to the nice super mutant. Better watch out. Lily's been babbling about her grandkids with that. <laughs> Something on your mind? Yeah, uh, you won't have any more trouble with those mercenaries. They're gone. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Okay. okay. Keen, isn't he the one inside? The one that's a bit, always a bit, like, looks really angry. What's the story with him? Smart. Charismatic, and hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks 
they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Uh, why does he want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. Oh. We can say what happens if Keen leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. Okay, but you're a super mutant. Wouldn't they listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Oh, fair enough. Let's talk about something else. Right. Uh, are there any rules that I need to know about that I shouldn't break? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Fair dues. That's fine. See you. You know, I was—I think I was getting. Well, I know I was getting confused before. See. I was being a bit of a muppet. I was getting confused between Nightkin and Night Stalkers. It's Nightkin that he th that uh, No Bark thinks are Chupacabras, invisible Chupacabras. Nightkin are the dogs, which are kind of like a rattlesnake and a dog mixture thing. Right. Um. Ask Lily to help you investigate the Night Stalker situation. Where is Lily? Lily. Is this Lily? That's Lily. I wasn't expecting that, but hey ho. Jimmy! Little Jimmy! My, how you're grown up! So good of you to come visit your grandma. I think she's a little bit batshit crazy. Who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. What the hell does that mean? I'm, I'm a little bit scared. Uh, uh, I think you've got me confused with someone else. I... Oh... Of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? Um, I'm looking into the problems that you're having with Night Stalker mutations. Want to come along with me? Ooh, those Night Stalkers always killing my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. Lily has given you the Stealth Girl perk. Okay, we still got Rex, that's fine. Right, now what do we have to do? Look for the source of the Night Stalker's stealth mutation. So Night Stalkers can turn invisible as well. Holy shit, Nobark's gonna go mental. It could have been them that no, he, he said like they were big tuba coppers, didn't he? Bloody hell, you got invisible dog snakes and you've got invisible super mutants. If you tell No Bark this, his head will explode. How are we meant to get up there? It says it's there, we have to go outside and round. Right. 
Right, there is a trail that goes up into the hills. Tell you what, you can understand, well, but look at that. You can understand why it was a resort, can't you? I mean, that kind of reminds you of um, The Shining. might find a frozen body out here in the trees of Jack Nicholson. There's a cave. Found a cave. Charleston Cave. Right. Get the little devil out. Holy shit. <laughs> Bloody hell. Wow. Shit. Did she just say that she's going to give him a paddling? <laughs> about neither does she well this is definitely the pit where they bring the big horns she's not going to be happy oh <gasps> they've actually killed have they killed a night king a chewed up stealth boy <laughs> tell doc henry you discovered a potential cause for the night stalker mutations have they been eating I wonder if it's because they've been eating the Night King that they've been... Oh... That's made them mutate because of what they've been eating. Am I on the right track? Tell the dark. Better watch out. Lily's been babbling about the back. Yeah, I, I know about Lily now. I understand what you're talking about. Yeah, she's not a fallen. I mean, she seems nice, but she's um, a little bit mental. There he is, Happy Larry. Right. Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, I found a chewed up stealth boy in the Night Stalker lair. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Oh, I was way off. Well, well, sort of. What they've done is they've chewed the stealth boy. That's released radiation in the lair where they've been sleeping and eating. 
and that's what's mutated him. It's not because they've been eating Nightkin meat. That's what it was. Uh, makes sense now. Okay, I was a, I was a bit off the mark. Uh, why Lily and not some other Nightkin? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. Okay, what are the risks? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. I'll talk to Lily. I'll be waiting. Oh, uh, talk. Naughty children run from their punishment, but we'll find Betty. Won't be Leo. Oh, Christ. She thinks we're Leo now, so we've changed from Jimmy to Leo, and she wants to find... Billy, or someone, to give him a good ass slapping. Um. Did you still want to help the doctor run his experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. Well, I wouldn't worry too long. It, it's, it's, I mean, it's just behind us, so don't worry too much. See? Told you. He's just here. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Go ahead. Very well. Please, stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. Okay. Uh, where do we stand? In the fireplace? All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turn oh, now. Jesus. <sighs> Feels strange. Strange, my God! Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rat scorpion. Ah! Now I smash! Yeah! How are those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is... zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, Good I dog. Like having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment. Once I've analyzed the results. Oh, he looks well, pissed. Well, congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. Oh, this isn't good. This really isn't good. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. Oh. They were waiting for the opportunity to get the stealth boy Mark II off him. Um, We can go with a speech check. What you do in the wasteland affects all of the mutants here, but you didn't think about that, did you? Or we can say, what are you planning to do once you have the specs? The Mark IIs are even more dangerous than the standard stealth boys. Dr. Henry, do as he asks. You're not getting the Mark II specs. Let's go with the speech one. No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Someone's watching me. Oh, I can that, feel it. That was easier than... <laughs> Good dog. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... Uh, we can go with the science check. Use neuropeptide stimulators on the Nightstalker brain. Results should be similar to a live brain. That's brilliant. Simple yet elegant. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Okay, well we completed that mission. Hey. So 
So, quests. That's it. We've helped Howdy. him with the su Howdy. <laughs> We've helped him with the super mutant. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Yes, all right, Mr. Pissy. Right. Okay. Well, we've helped out. We've done what we can. We found out a bit more about Super Mutant. I never even knew this place existed. So, a cure for the nightgin is supposed to be on the way. It is. Right. Let's talk to Marcus Aurelius on the way out. I like how you handled Keen. Without the nightkin around, Jacobstown would be much weaker than it is. Okay, that's about it then. See you. See you, mate. Take care. Right, we're going to go back. And... Freeside. And we're going to go and see the king. Okay, so now that we're back in Freeside, let's go and tell the king that his dog is all fixed. And he's oh shit. Come on. Well, it was self-defense, they attacked me. Right, uh where was we going now? Um, is it? I don't think you can get through this way, can you? No. Right, that's the alleyway. That's not the way that we want to go. It looks like the Legion and NCR. If it can be bought. Right, through here, I think. Yes, there we go. Right, let's go and tell the king. Doggy's alright. Where is he? Here he is. Can we tell him? Why, Rexy, you look all better, boy. Good as new. Did my Rexy get a new brain? He did. He sure did. You're a man of your word, no doubt about it. Can't thank you enough. If you want, hold on to Rex for a little while longer. I'm sure he'd enjoy that. Was there anything else you wanted? That's all it was, thanks, mate. Take care, and I'll see you in a bit. All right. I'll see you later. See you later. Mm, uh -huh, alligator. Oh, right then. Well, we got Rex fixed. He's all sorted. Hey. The king knows about it. He's happy. So all I can say is, is... Roy, thank you for telling me about it. I'm really glad that you did. And we fixed him. He's back on his feet. And I think we're going to leave the video there. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a thumbs up and... I'd really appreciate it if you think about subscribing. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.